Mikey, and welcome back to the long-awaited, the late, or well-prepared, who knows. Welcome back to the Monday show. How are you doing, guys? Welcome back. Hello, hello, hello. Let me know who you are, where you're from, and what crimes you've committed in the past three weeks, because I've not seen you, so I don't know. <laughs> welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I've missed you all. I've missed you all, that's for sure. How are you? How are you? Let me change this to live chat so I can see it's saying. How are you all doing? Well, thank you very much for tuning in. Again, my name is Mikey. Uh, this is the Monday show. I know the show on a Monday, but I've been off for two weeks. It's been a mental two weeks. And then we did a stream and we had to cut it short. Um, if you were in that stream, just so you know, so you know everything that happened that evening, everyone's okay. That's the main thing. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of a disaster, um, a little bit of fam family trouble let's say a family emergency um on that stream so that's why we cut it early but just so you know update everyone it is okay that's the main thing you know uh but let me know where you are again i say come and say hello let me say hi to you all and thank you very much for like coming to say hello i missed you i missed you for sure uh that's and des hello there salad star says small ball gang small ball gang indeed hello hell yeah uh, two weeks, two weeks to prepare or two weeks late. You like, oh, Steve, that's a, that's a great joke. I'm glad I came out with it first. Thanks, Steve. How are you, buddy? Um, also, you've changed your profile picture. I noticed. <laughs> uh, the late storms, the hype. No AOS battle turn looks fancy. It does look very AOS, doesn't it? If I said, what game's this from? Would you say 40k? And nah, you would not. <laughs> you just wouldn't. You just wouldn't. Uh, I've been too busy playing Pokemon. I have been playing a lot of Pokemon, guys. I've I've done it. I've 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 done the thing I said I wouldn't do. I've done the thing I said I wouldn't do. I went back to Twitch like a cringe lord. Okay, I haven't I haven't fully updated it yet, but you know my Twitch channel is wide open again. Uh, it's now called Hellstorm Mikey, and uh, I've been playing Pokemon. I've played six and a half hours of Pokemon on stream in the past four days. <laughs> I have been away this weekend. I've been an AOS team event, which is really fun. Uh, but I'm going to use this as like actually gaming. Not like, oh, I'm playing Warhammer games. Warhammer games, I'll probably stream on YouTube still because it's Warhammer. Um, if there's anything like tabletop related, I'll keep it on YouTube. But if I'm playing a video game that just because I want to, like Pokemon, for example, I'm going to start streaming it on Twitch. And it's just it's going to be ad hoc, no schedule. Uh, it's just going to be like, right, I'm going live. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Um, but, but yeah, it's been really fun, actually. It's been really nice. Uh, Twitch is, like, a nice experience. Um, like, it's, it's weird to be back on Twitch. The clips are way better. Um, there was a clip that, uh, I had to, I, I made, someone clipped it, but I, I made, like, a, like, a cleaner cut. Not, not being mean. Uh, not being rude. But there was a clip. Um, this one. Here we go. One second. Do it. I'll save it first. Let me I don't know. Pokemon fans, Pokemon fans out there, I'll appreciate this one. Yeah, I've been teleported into it to the Mahaka. So, you, I, this this cliff, you're not supposed to be able to get there yet. I haven't completed the tutorial yet. And you just throw a Pokeball straight over. Throw your ball. Unless they've updated it. Wait for it. They don't update it. There we go. Teleport. I fucking did it! So that's what's been happening on twitch guys you've missed out you might you might have missed out all i'm saying <laughs> uh but that's been really fun i've been doing that i said i've been to the Elden ring press event which some of you might have seen which is fun um which is really really cool i've been working with steamforge games i was hired as a director if you missed that bit people took the piss it was great um it's been good but yeah we've played a lot of pokemon <laughs> Um, he's been too busy playing Pokemon. That's why it's taken two weeks. Exactly. 20,161 minutes late. That's not, that's less than I thought. That's less minutes than I thought. <laughs> Sorry about Katie Stan's boxing. We speak nice. I think Tom's pretty much finished painting hours now. I think he's working on the Canadian shock troops. So I'll probably to do the Caskin first, which is, you know, fair. <laughs> um, hey Matt, how are you? SM Bar reports. Hello, it's me, Pardo. How are you, Pardo? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you go check out Pardo's stream after the stream. Maybe we'll maybe we'll drop the kids off at the pool at the end of this stream and go see Pardo. Who knows? Who knows? Um, honestly, I've been reading through this book and there's so many odd choices. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about Astro Bill Time today. I know it's two weeks. I know it's two weeks late. 
um but it's just it's just been a really busy time you know it's been really really busy time um uh, foot world it's all about praetorian guard yeah steve you can keep shouting that just because you made terrible financial decisions that's your fault not mine <laughs> i want a picture of them all steve that's what i need um it does otherwise it does otherwise known as make it up as they go oh you about rules mike eats ryan from school i spent all my money for christmas presents on war and it's all your fault cheers kids crying <laughs> i don't right i will i won't lie to you lad i don't know which ryan from school i knew a few ryans at school but if it's the ryan i'm thinking of which it could be that is quite funny but it's also any other ryan i'm thinking of it's also rather funny <laughs> but thanks for cheering in buddy it's always weird to think that like people who actually know me watch my stream hey patrick thank you very much for becoming a member oh mate Oh boy. Thought it was. Thought it was. Hey mate, how you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Long time no see. <laughs> um it's always weird to think. Sorry, Patrick, thank you so much for recording a member. You're an absolute legend. You are I really, really appreciate you. Um I hate to beg, but I do have to. The only reason I can keep these lights on and keep creating content is because people become members of Super Chat. So I'm not going to ask, like, nicely this time. Fucking subscribe. Fucking become a member right now. I'll wait. Too slow. And, right, you all hate me. I appreciate it. Fine. Fine. I see how it is. <laughs> but uh, it's always weird. It's always weird to think that, like, people who actually... Not like you guys don't know me. I am quite myself on stream. But people who know me, like, from my past, like, from school and shit, tune into the channel. That is, in my opinion weird <laughs> do i have to unsub first no you just have to gift a sub steve thank you much lambo paints absolute legendary nick from the sh uh, from the stream in a nick of time sh becoming the first member that i demanded i mean it worked right and he did it fastest proving just how quick he things quick he can do things in a nick of time so you better become a member as well and show don't let don't show don't let nick show you up that's all i'm saying Give Mikey your fucking money. That's all I'm saying, right? It's nearly Christmas, right? Like, all this free content, all the gift. I'm the gift that keeps on giving, and you don't want to become a member right now. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> um, Got my box today, and it's not that bad rules-wise. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not that bad in isolation. Take it all isolated. It's all grey. And then you go... Oh, I could just spend nine command points on this one unit and destroy anything in the game. Yeah, okay, cool. GG. GG. <laughs> Wait, so you had to buy a guard box like it's plebs? <laughs> listen, listen. No. <laughs> you think I'd buy it? I'm like, Gaze Witch was like number one star child, right? I'm like the star pupil, right? I'm the star pupil. That's who I am, right? I'm Gaze Workshop's top content creator. They emailed me that the other day, right? I'll screenshot it and show you. You're like Mikey. Hellstorm Mikey. Our star pupil. Our number one content creator on the platform. Uh, most influential as well. Um, even if you do so influential, you're getting hired by other companies now. Just to remind you, we do love you. We want you to do everything. And I'm like, Gateway Shop, I'm in, right? That's why this week we're painting... 3d printed models on the channel let's go just keep them guessing never let them know your next move you know what i'm saying never let them know your next move <laughs> um i've been summoned thanks thanks again lambo and patrick barry as well thank you much for coming member again if you don't want to become a member it's only two quid right wrong with you <laughs> uh radio free i'm gonna have your username changed yeah radio free i'm pretty sure you told me once and now i don't remember who you are but you are a mod so be careful i guess use your power with with great power comes great changing your username <laughs> Not, right okay um you can't do things on time otherwise you'd you'd have your vote on to show us 
That is true. Nick, I have accidentally leaked who's painting my Votan. And now everyone's asking where my Votan are. I've leaked, I'm sorry. I've leaked your phone number and home address to everyone. So everyone is like, bruh, where the Votan at? <laughs> Um, I did threaten him in private as well. That's true. That's true. Did they mean to talk to Georgie? No, they were talking to me. They were talking directly to me. They said Mikey Herbert of X address of Hellstone Wargaming with brown hair and a cool beard. Best beard in Wargaming. You know, that's what they said. And they're like, wow, what a great content creator. We need to make sure you are loved. I was like, I am feeling love right now. <clears throat> Brown hair, red beard. It's true. It's the ultimate combo. Don't you know? Don't you know? Think about like the Greek gods, right? <laughs> Think about all the Greek gods. All got beards. All the cool ones, anyway. All the most powerful. Hercules, cringe. Zeus, beard. Um. I think I'm the only mod to portal by membership. Radio free. Fnod. Listen. I'm going to have to mod you. That's all, that's all I'm saying. That's how it goes. You know? Liam Dempsey has a better beard. Liam Dempsey has daily mail tattooed on his arm. He can't. He can't. He has better nothing. <laughs> um, Mike him for Meta Watch presenter. Oh, mate. If they ever asked me to present Meta Watch, that would be the ultimate fuck you. That would be so good. That would be so good. Imagine. Hello, everyone. They took my job and gave it me back. <laughs> they took my job from me and they gave it me back as a presenter with a nicer camera. <laughs> um, I missed a message from Pardo. It just appeared then disappeared. I, YouTube chat is great, but also shite. I use that t-shirt at the gym today. Copycat, says Pardo. Pardo has this t-shirt because he's a boy. Firstborn gym. Estimated 1987. You could also have this t-shirt if you go to hellstormapparel.com. Did I tell you what website was? Sorry, I don't know if I did. Hellstormapparel.com uh, is my merch store. If you want some cool clothes, if you want to be a cool kid with cool clothes, grab a t-shirt, grab some... Um, Pants? I don't know if I sell pants. I don't think I do. You never really know these days, though, do you? Um, but make sure you check it out. Did I spell apparel wrong? Is that why it's not working? Maybe. No. Why is it not loading? Okay, cringe. <laughs> It'll work. Don't worry about it. It'll work on your end. Don't worry about mine. Mine's shit. Uh, but make sure you grab a t-shirt if you want to. Is they're really cool. They help me out. Use code Studio for five percent off. It's still up. I I never removed it, so it still works. Look at all these awesome T-shirts we sell, by the way. Don't know if it, don't know if you knew, but we sell T-shirts and clothes. You know, we don't have a cringe website of like creator dot spring dot dashboard dot com slash creator slash slash influencer slash the channel name. It's a real website. Hellstoreapparel dot com. You can get coffee time logo on a cool jumper. You can get it on a like a little a little one. That's the one I'm gonna order. I think I'm gonna get this crew neck. It's also Christmas. Christmas is coming up. We've got Leviathans back on the store. So um, as of tomorrow, tomorrow I believe uh, the Christmas designs will come back up. So we have got ho ho ho. Uh, they, it's a it's a bolter, you know. <clears throat> it supports me directly, so make sure you check it out. Really appreciate it. Um, two weeks to refer for stream when you late what's changed have a, have had a shave right okay <laughs> Mikey from Meta Watch you could be controversial paint the new guard like World War 2 Germans uh, no I uh, won't do that <laughs> funnily enough funnily enough I won't be doing that <laughs> but what I will be doing is showing you the guard that Tom has painted um, because I'm pretty sure he sent me some pictures. Um, me and Tom have been meant to be playing, but our schedules just really haven't lined up in the in the past few weeks, which has been a real shame. We've been wanting to Tom Tom's actually painted uh all the guard for me. I said we're just waiting 
for i've just got to be careful what pictures i send you here um i'm just waiting for tom to be free we've got a couple more units to finish i believe why won't you let me download the picture there we go So, for example, here, this is one of the new heavy weapon bombast guns. I think he's done a really, really good job, don't you think? I think he's done great. He's painted a couple more as well. I think it, there's a whip of a sentinel. He's done. He's, these are like some older pictures, but I'm pretty sure he's basically finished it now. Who knows with Tom? You never really know, dear. But I think he's done a really, really good job. What else on t-shirt should I get? I think you should get... Uh, I think you should get, like, the the L Classic, you know? Just a logo. I think that'd be cool. There's some clean green army. Yeah, he's done a great... Don't you think he's done great? Say, Tom's done great in chat. <laughs> I think mean, he's done a really, really good job. Here's a Sentinel as well. So this is, like, an older one. So you can see he's starting to highlight the Sentinel there. That's the same heavy weapon team. But you see we've got some other stuff getting done in the background. Um, because basically I've, he's painting the he's painting the entirety of the new box and the cassock in all at the same time, which is quite impressive to be fair. Uh, but I think he's done a fucking sick job, and I can't wait to use them. Really can't wait. So that is the plan. Probably gonna do something like guard versus necrons, which might be quite fun. Which would be good. Um, hilarious TikTok about brown hair, red beard. I don't get it. What's the TikTok? Shall we just list the better beards? There isn't any Hockham. Don't be silly. Red hair comes from a Neanderthal. Walk in. Banned. Time out. <laughs> We're all Paul. We play 40k. Yeah, but two pounds. That's less than GW Paint. What's wrong with you? you? That could be going to me so I can buy GW Paint. If three of you subscribe at two pounds a month, I can afford one paint a month. That is a banging deal. You know? Three becomes one. That's what they say. That's the old saying, right? When three becomes one, three three members at two one ninety nine becomes one paint for me. <clears throat> My wife's got a better beard than Mike. Listen, Kev. I hope your wife's not watching. That's mean. <laughs> um you complain about them taking your job, but I hear there's a market for more consistent Meta Watch. Listen, my Meta Watch is way better than theirs, and I'm a one man band, okay? I'm a, just a one-man band. I do things solo. They got like a team of like... They write the game, Jordan. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I can't even recognize Mikey without his Lechonk. My Lechonk's an emo now. He evolved. Established, not estimated. Now, estimated. I have to guess. I buy some Hellstone branded kegs to be honest. Hell yeah, buddy, Bob. Let's go. Um... Does it have Chaos Cat Girls? No, we don't have that. I am thinking about adding a couple of I've got a couple of t-shirt designs um, that I'm thinking of. Ben wants to set wants you to sell crocs. I do want to sell crocs. I want some crocs. I want the Lightning McQueen crocs. Have you seen them? Have you see, ever seen the Lightning McQueen crocs? But for adults? That's for kids. They're like 20 quid. Right? But for adults, they're two hundred and twelve pounds, and they come in size four or seven, which I am neither. <laughs> Funnily enough, I may be a short king, but I got big feet. These Crocs are elite. Look at them. Look how cool they are. I just want that's all I want, but they don't do it in my size, and they, they do. They're for hundreds of pounds. Tom Warden, thank you so much for becoming one of the three members who is going to buy me one single pot of paint. Thank you so much, yeah. mate. That's very kind of you. Very, very kind. Thank you so much, Tom. Oh, lads, I found it. Wait for it. Bristol, pre-owned, 190 quid, size 10. I'm in. I'm in. Right, someone super chat, 190 quid so I can buy these Crocs. That's all I want in life. Once I've got that, I'll delete the channel. I won't. That's just a meme, but you know. How much are these? They're size eight. They're eighty pounds more expensive. What about these ones? They're size selector size. They're also size eight. Seventy pounds more expensive. 
Anyway, that's the Crocs I want. If I was gonna if I was gonna wear Crocs, they'd be the ones, you know. Um. One second. I get paid at midnight. Oh, yeah, Christmas jumper might, might be in most. Hell yeah, lost for words, bud. Um, I need to get the top Freddy future episode in nick of time. Yeah, Lambo. Uh, we'll sort it out, buddy. We'll sort it out. When when are the Amble hiding inside boxes coming out? Bro. Bro. Amble hiding inside. <laughs> Bro. I'm writing that down. All credit from me. I came up with these really great ideas, guys. Amble hiding inside inside boxes that is elite meme that is elite tier um <laughs> elite tier fucking merch i'm doing it i'm all hiding inside we'll get tom to to um to model them it'd be great <clears throat> The inside of the barrel is green, Tom shakes head. It's not green, it's grey. I noticed that as well. It's grey, because he's primed them in at a at that grey spray Mechanicus standard. So you can all critique. You can all critique inside this barrel that is like a blue grey. But look at the rest of it. <laughs> uh Tom's a quality paint. Tom's a really good painter, yeah. So if you buy your merch, will you fix so those who pay for your merch to win giveaways asking for a friend? I don't rely on giveaways. I just do some giveaways sometimes. But no, I can't. You can do you can ask what you like, but no. <laughs> I'm sure other channels do though. Um One more pay ball than what Mikey has paid lately. I paid the entirety of Dark Souls in like a week. Okay? Just because it wasn't 40k doesn't mean don't count. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best thing i've seen ever seen tom do tom's a really really good player he doesn't pay enough um except when you go off an amble tangent <laughs> did you know you can get little sliders yeah you can get greg sliders as well i'm in a holding crocs that's for your dignity to leak out of i've got no dignity left mate i've got no dignity left can we pick the paint? <laughs> no, Super Shooter, but you should become a member because it's a great name. That's what, that's what I might do. What I might do. It's getting, it's getting pretty dire, chat. I won't lie, mate. I won't lie. Lads, I won't lie to you. Game is a gentleman. It's getting pretty dire. So I might just start reading people's names out, and if they aren't a member, reminding them that they're not a member. So can we pick the paint, Super Shooter, who's not a member, should become a member now? Uh, no. You're such a hobbit, Mikey. Cass Ellen, who isn't a member. Uh, what? That's a lot. Sabian Wilson, who isn't a member, should become a member right now. <laughs> that's already, already annoying. <laughs> uh, two weeks to prepare for Lightning McQueen Croc chat. Yeah, we always chat shit until seven, you know? That's how it is. I know it's been two weeks, but that's it. Uh, Crocs are for peasants. I'm getting Heelys for Crimbo. I always wanted Heelys. I never got any. I always wanted Heelys. Super sure you're not a member. You grey name. That's so cringe. Um, you can just buy them and tell George you did. I know that I let the let the stream by that video. <laughs> that video was really funny. I really enjoyed that. If if that was like almost two years ago as well. <clears throat> almost. Almost two years ago, uh, we did the stream by shit. Where I let stream use my credit card. <laughs> um, Mikey does raffle. I do do raffles, yeah. Um, I'm only here until my lord, but chat to Master Varrock comes online to so entertain me. All right, yeah, I'll entertain you. Don't worry, mate. Uh, put user on timeout. <laughs> entertain this. I'm not just a leapfrog for Valrak. Don't belittle me like that. <laughs> Entertain this. <laughs> you paid all the trade for it to doubt. We never got to see used. Yeah, exactly. So, Louis never got the crew finished. I never got the Imperial Breaches done. And then released a new box set. So, it was just like... Pfft. 
it was really annoying actually because Games Workshop said that they were going to release Kill Team every three months, and they said the same for War Cry, and then just didn't. They just they just they just sent it like like a month later. I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? You know? I was just like, what are you doing to me? Holy shit! Steve just gifted twenty fucking memberships. Holy good lord, Steven! Thank you so much, Steve, for gifting 20 men. This is what we want. Let's get some claps in chat for Steve. Big Steve in chat. Let's go. Make sure if you've just been gifted a membership, you say thank you. Lord Steve. Lord Steve. Thank you, Steve. Let's go. Claps in chat. Look at all these green names now. I don't even know what anyone else is saying. I, can't, I don't even know what else is saying. I don't care. Thank you very much to Steve for the 20 members. What? Be more like Steve. Pay £1.99 and get a big flashy thing on screen. <laughs> Thank you so much, Steve. You're an absolute legend, mate. That's so, so kind. Honestly, I, I keep saying, you know, memes aside, it's the only thing that keeps the lights on. It's the only reason I can make content for free. I don't charge for content like other channels um, because I am I am, I am, am just a one-man band and I do my thing, you know? So, thank you much, Organ UK, for the five, mate. Really appreciate it as well. That's very, very kind of you as well, buddy. Really, really appreciate What's it, buddy. Up? What's up? Thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. So, yeah. So, memberships and Super Chats are the best way to support me. I make all my content free. I don't I don't pay all anything, but you do get access to a Discord where you can talk mm -hmm. to me directly as well. So, have you missed the Guard Kelly's review? No, mate. No, we do the reviews at seven. Remember. Thank you so much, Steve. That's very, very kind of you. Look at that. It keeps going and going and going. Loads and loads of people just got a free membership, so make sure you say thank yeah. you. You can all join the Discord for 30 days now until it runs out, and if you want to continue, you can subscribe again. <coughs> yeah, I won't object to those tickets, but you did. I really do really do giveaways on big things we now. Joined. Um... Oh, member shaming now. Yes, we are bottom farm. We member shaming. Just like Super Studio hasn't become a member. <laughs> member. Um. He's waiting for Varrock's comment reading stream. Comment, Varrock. I mean, we do a little bit of that. I never shame him. I don't want for that. Rejoined. Um. Thank you so much, Steve. Okay, and all these people. Hopefully, some of them are here. I don't know how memberships work. Like, who gets them? I think it is pretty yeah. random. I think we're about halfway through the alerts. <laughs> Stop bullying me. No, I am picking on you in particular because I know it'll work. <laughs> um, Steve, a legend he is. You can't keep the free content consistent. That's why you can't make premium content. Jordan, I'm going to have to tie you out as well, mate. <laughs> I have the power. Want to bully me? I'll tie you out. Listen, I've been going off doing things, you know. You say I don't put out consistent content. We streamed 18 hours of 40k in two days. Your boy wanted a day off. <laughs> uh, Magri has, has, has always member shamed. Why do you think I caved? It's true, Patrick. Remember. It's true. I think it's just like, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. You just have to member shame. <laughs> Mikey's with Elon Musk having out who disagree. Be more like Elon. That's what he's saying in chat. Be more like Elon. Disagree? Muted. <laughs> Banned. That's what he said. Um, Won't fix the event for you next time. <laughs> uh, it's not bullying, it's character building. This is true, Ice. This is true, mate. Um... Two weeks of Lightning McQueen knock off Crocs haven't been this let down since found out GW killed Yarrick. Listen, don't you want don't you want the Lightning McQueen Crocs? Don't you want them? If you grey names, there's no insensitive. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Okay, we've talked enough shit. Just don't hide comments unless you take can take criticism. This is also true. I can't take criticism. <laughs> <laughs> so you're all banned. You're all banned. Every single one of you. <laughs> I just seven. I just dropped seven thousand euros on a whole guard army. Don't tell me they aren't good. I'm about to tell you they're the shittiest army games I've ever wrote, mate. So. 
I'm not, but you know. I just want some Crocs. That's all I want. I just want some Lightning McQueen Crocs in particular. But, Mikey timing everyone out once again, abusing the clock. <laughs> I do love to abuse the clock, right? Supposedly. I don't know what all these shit talking's about, guys. I don't know what the, all these shit talking's about. I'm one of the most based content creators on the platform as well. You know? Look at this. Look at this banger tweet that I part this morning. 40k is a great game, but has issues. Age of Sigma is also a great game, but has its issues. Everyone gaming is great, but it has its issues. Constant dunking on that's bad, but this game is better because this is tiresome and overused. Look at that. 236 likes and 6 quite retweets and 21 retweets. You know? You make out like I'm an evil genius, but actually, I'm based. People agree with me. Look at it. Look at all those re quote retweets. Good job, whatever this... I don't know what Mobius is. Kill team is... Look, Big True so real. This is the take, says Patrick. This is why Scrabble is the best board game. A to the motherfucking men. You know? Elite tweet today. So just remember, I am the most influential content creator on the platform. Look at those likes and retweets. 21 of all these people who agree with me. Look at them all. Look at them all. Some of them are you. <laughs> <laughs> elite content creator you need you all should just respect me and i don't feel like i get enough respect on this channel <laughs> i'm gonna be like that do you remember that that woman who was just like telling people to subscribe because they are uh, they can't afford it they're just poor and then she did that big run i feel like i'm turning into her <laughs> they're all paid actors <laughs> no this is not the answer <laughs> You know? Do you do you remember that? Do you know? Do you remember that was? Oh, I can't remember a name. Uh, streamer. Uh, on rant. Um. Uh, I don't remember. She was. She was. Uh. Jen Quarters, thank you much for coming, member. You absolute legend, mate. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, mate. Too. We appreciate it. Um, I don't remember who it was. I just don't remember. I don't remember her net, her username. There was like a streamer who was just like, it was like really, it was really, it was basically people watching her because it was all like, you know, she was wearing like hardly any clothes, and then she was just like telling people to subscribe. And if they can't afford it, they need to go and get a job. Um, if they can't, if they can't Twitch sub, and then she got cancelled, and then she had like a really weird rant about like how we're all in this together, and um, oh, what else did she say? We're all in this together, and you know you don't have to let your dreams just be dreams type rant. Someone will know exactly who I'm talking about. I just can't remember, but it was very funny, and I feel like that's who I'm turning into because you are all gaslighting me. <laughs> <laughs> You're all gaslighting me. <laughs> um, emotional damage. All competitive war gamers should choose chess crocs. That's true. It wasn't Pokemon, no. It was like someone who like rose to fame very quickly and then died very quickly. You know. <clears throat> Dystopia Wars is a blast in the past. Dystopia Wars was a great game. I preferred... Was it Ground Command they called it or something? The the land version? Um, But Dystopia Wars is really good. I hate to say it, but that tweet is wrong. Battletech exists as imperfect. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Is it Nadia? Oh, lost words. You might have... Nadia Streamer Rant. No. No, she's recent, isn't she? Nah, I'll never remember. I won't be able to remember a name, so I'd have to be like, oh yeah, here's a link. 
Um, echo chamber. It's not an echo chamber, Andy. I'm just right. I'm just right, honestly. I think my Baltec is that cousin that Gigi likes to ignore because they just know they're better in every way. Is it though? I've printed a lot of Baltec for Neil because he was playing it. The men, the models are fine, and but like, I printed him like a full board as well, which is pretty fun. Um, they're all actors, but not paid. <laughs> Uh, remember when you said you were moving on to the guard connects five minutes ago and now you're googling some random streamer's name we don't really don't need to know jordan you're so angry i know listen you've waited for the guard codex for like three years okay <laughs> you can wait another five minutes <laughs> now bad bunny bad bunny was the one who's taking the piss of her but I don't remember who she was talking about in context. But she was... It was around the same time. Um, Was this person on Twitch? Are you playing Pokemon? <laughs> no. Invader V. I'm just Googling all these random names. I don't think it's V either. Oh my god, it was! It was Invader V! That's the exact... Justice Sanders, grey name. Well done. Invader V. This person. Do you remember this person? Well done. These your own destiny. Maybe is it no, I don't know. It was her. She got she just went on a really weird rant about all how all dreams could be dreams. There we go. Well done. Well done, Justice Sanders. That's exactly who I was talking about. <laughs> Come on, no one's here to hear Mikey talk, out, talk about a Gaga. Is that's all we up, went to Art of War for review? Ah, yes, Art of War. Why not? Botan are totally fine, don't forget, according to Art of War. Pre pre uh, pre nerf. Um, BT is well balanced, a tightly warding game, uh, Battle Tech, but it's pretty much no horse crap. The models used to be bad, but they're actually nice now. Okay. We've held the line for 62 months, we could hold 10 minutes more. <laughs> she was she was a proper see you next tuesday but that's what you're turning me into i am invader v 2.0 the warhammer version <clears throat> that's who it is that's what's happening that's what you're trying to say right okay let's talk about can we talk about guard or should i talk shit for another five minutes i know that i'd really really um be really good for some people in chat You know? You know what? I could probably stall for at least another 20 minutes. If I stalled for 50, I could stall so long that i just end stream and never talk about guard. That would be really funny. Um... Let's talk about Custodies. <laughs> the best Custodies player I know is in chat, to be fair. And he's still a great name. And he's called Super Strudel. <laughs> okay, gamers and gentlemen. It's been a few weeks. But we finally can talk about this Codex. Because I found time in my schedule to talk about it. Here we go. It's the Imperial Guard, the Astromill Time Codex that came in the new Cadia Stands box set. Okay, the Cadia Sands box set released this codex and it's fucking dumb. Okay, a lot of people are starting to get their hands on this book now because it is on official release. You can actually talk about it and you can actually play with it if you want to. Not in a real tournament though, because it's banned. <laughs> Serious note that GW events along with most of the tournaments have banned this codex until general release. Because a lot of the models won't be coming out until general release. So it probably can't be used outside of like friendlies or really, really obscure or skewed to tournaments. So just bear that in mind going forward with this review. And also, uh, because it's banned, because it's not going to be used officially in GW events, the balance data slate um, is still up for Imperial Guard, which is written for the old codex. So everything I'll be talking about will be uh, talking about in the context of that being removed. I don't know if that will be the case. Whether they keep it, keep some of it, keep all of it, delete it all. We just don't really know. 
But until then, Astra Militarum time. So this book came out in the Cadia Stands box set. And the, the units in the Kenya Stands box set do not utilize this book very well, except for the infantry, but they, they don't really utilize this book super well. But there are some units in this book that are so pushed, so, so pushed. You're going to look at Votan Terminators and be like, who even cares about them? <laughs> Because this book has so much synergy with a couple of particular units in this book, which are brand new, funnily enough. Just to fit that narrative once again to say that Games Workshop makes new units broken for you to buy them, I always disagree. And then I open the guard codex and I'm reminded maybe they're right. Uh, and why? what units are we talking about? We're talking about Kasakin, the new Kasakin models, and we're talking about Attilan Rough Riders gamers. And also the Rogal Dawn on top. Fuck it, why not? You know, maybe the Cadian Command Squad, because that's got some cool stuff. Maybe the Cadian Commercial, cause that, because that's quite cool. Maybe we'll even, just as a sprinkle for the old stuff, we'll sprinkle in. We'll sprinkle in a little bit of Bullgrins, because they're quite good as well. But there's a lot of good stuff in this book, and I think you can definitely tell that this has been playtested against unnerved Votan and unnerved Tyranids, because that's what they say they do. When they released the Votan book and then nerfed it straight after, they said that they um, they basically test it against older books and went at the time, it's really good, but then they release it and then it's nerfed. But then it's the book that they released hasn't been nerfed. So it's pretty dumb. It is pretty dumb. Um, massive thank you to Dark Lord of the Chiefs for nine months in a row. And thank you very much to Magoo for 15 months as well. What about Yarrick? Fuck Yarrick. Who cares? <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> But, so, there's a couple of really, really good units in this book. There's a lot of synergy, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm an expert on Imperial Guard and know every single... I know the, the list that's going to win the next tournament, but I can tell you uh, multiple things that are very, very good that I feel are quite pushed in this book, and um, we'll kind of discuss what exactly you can do with it. That's the plan, you know? That's the plan. Um... I think they mentioned at the end of the Bound States like article and why we could, that it was going to be taken off. Yes, this is true, but currently it's still up. So until they actually remove it, we don't really know, you know. <clears throat> um, We must discuss the line in the KDU shock troop data sheet, which is either misprint or completely used as line. Yeah, we'll talk about that first, shall we? We'll talk about that first. So, <laughs> uh, it's come to my attention that most Imperial Guard players can't read English. And um, I don't say that lightly. Thank you much to Salad Star for sorting these images out. But there's been a lot of arguments in Imperial Guard groups for some reason. Starting with <laughs> to all those dreamers. I don't know if I'm going to read all of this. I'm just going to open it all up ready. Um, one second, one second. Okay, okay, let's get a song up. Not that one. That's a good one, though. No, not the one I want. I know exactly which one I want. Okay. Let's talk about the Imperial Guard players. So, there's this screenshot that is causing some drama and it wasn't me it wasn't me um you cannot select the same weapon more than twice per unit also dn stuff thank you much for the 25 months two and a bit look at us happy anniversary again babe hope you're doing well love and wishes all the value glad you is dead stay safe thank you dn stuff hope you're doing well thanks for popping by 25 months that's insane buddy that's insane thank you matey <clears throat> so the reason that the, the 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 place that this line comes in is the is the Cadian shock troops, which is the new troop unit, which is basically the new shock troopers or the new infantry squad, but they didn't want to get rid of the old one. Okay, it says up to two shock troopers can each have their las guns replaced with one of the following one flamer one grenade launcher one metal gun one plasma gun you cannot select the same weapon more than twice per unit that's the rule 
Here we go. Let's go for it. Looks like you can to me. Plasma gun has an asterisk after it. If you look at the bottom entry, it does say you can't select the slain weapon twice for the entry that has an asterisk, which is the plasma gun. Everything else seems to be okay to do it twice. More than twice does not mean you cannot use it twice. No, the whole sentence has an asterisk. The plasma gun is just at the end. <laughs> so the contention now is if the asterisk only applies to the plasma gun or the overall sentence. Listen, guys, guard players can't read, okay? That's what we learned in. Okay? Guard players can't fucking read. <laughs> <laughs> you think with the book it's because i think the problem is is they've had their books so long that they don't actually read it anymore they just absorb the information from other people but look here's the rules okay it says up to two shop troopers can each have their last guns replaced in one of the following up to two shock troopers one of the following and that's what they get confused by they're like two can have one Maybe they share a plasma gun. <laughs> that was Steve jokes, not mine. But they just don't understand what this... And it says at the bottom, it says at the bottom there, you cannot select the same weapon more than twice per unit. I don't understand what the problem is. Two shot troopers can have one. It means one shot trooper can't have two. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Basic grammar, uh, basic logic too, as it makes no sense only to plasma. But wait for it. There's more. Where is it? Where's the one? I think I might have opened these in the wrong order. I have. Oh, it's... Oh, oh no. I'm reading it backwards. That's why it's not making sense. <clears throat> this one. To all those dreamers out there, no hate. I wish to be among you. The new GW clearly follows the policy of boxer equal rules. This will be errated to one of each weapons almost definitely. If you can pick one, pick two weapons, there's no need for the rule to limit one of the picks to two per squad, as you can't pick more than two. The stream said it's one each. The leak said it. And now, most importantly, the sprue says it. Now, I'd be more than happy to take two plasmas or melters, but that wouldn't even make a GW a clown. It wouldn't make it the whole Circus. Circus. <laughs> Considering the last codex's A to limit loadouts to the sprue, especially new sprues. TLDR, I think one of each max is correct. <laughs> Uh, uh. Anyway, this comment made me laugh. It's because I've opened it up. I was reading it on Discord. But to go through, to try and read this, I appreciate that you probably can't read this. It's probably a little bit small. That's why I was reading it backwards. But there you go. But this is very funny. So... Before the old infantry was blessed with the new upgrade sprue, you could only equip them with a flamer or a grenade launcher. <laughs> it's just, it's just, why are they so angry? They're just going on and on and on. When it quite clearly says, up to two shock troopers can have one of these. How, how is that wrong? How can you not, how can you not understand that? Um, apparently the Spanish version says only once per unit. Well, I'm sorry, Jordan, but I don't read Spanish. <laughs> I read the English version and it says two. I don't understand what they're arguing. <laughs> they each get one weapon, exactly. They Two of them can have one of the following. I don't understand why you can't read that. If the Spanish one's incorrect, then the Spanish one's incorrect. But that's because GW translated it badly, clearly. You know? That'd be the problem. Clear misprint. I mean, it's not in misprint here. This isn't a misprint. This is totally fine. It even says, to clarify, you cannot select the same weapon more than twice per unit. But you can only have two of them. You can only give them two. So I don't know how you can choose them. How could you ever possibly give them more than two of the same weapon when they can only take two? <laughs> uh, 
It's they cannot take more than two of a type of a gun. If you can only take two weapons, it's a useless line of tech causing contention. Yeah, but if they said you cannot select the same weapon more than once, they would say you cannot select the same weapon more than once. Why would they say that you can't select the same weapon more than twice? It says you can't take the same weapon more than twice. Why would they not say you cannot take the same weapon more than once if you can only have one plasma gun and one melter gun? How is it hard to understand? <laughs> but one is less than two, so if you give the give three of them one, then that's still three less than two. So it's listen the end stuff. Don't confuse everyone. I think people are getting confused. Look, we'll go for it again. Let's do it again, chat, okay? Cadian shock troops. One shock trooper sergeant, nine shock troopers. Every shock trooper is equipped with a las gun. Up to two shock troopers can each have their las guns replaced with one of the following. Okay. So you take a shock trooper, replace his gun. Choose one. Take a shock trooper, replace his gun. Choose one. The same weapon. You cannot select the same weapon more than twice. Can you see that? Just, just, in, just in case I missed it, you cannot select the same weapon more than twice. If they wanted you to just take the one plasma gun, if they wanted you to just take the one plasma gun, look, look, read, read my lips. It would say you can only take each weapon once. But it says... You can't take the same weapon more than twice, which is two. <laughs> I don't understand how this is confusing. <laughs> that line. No, I agree. I agree. This line at the bottom, this line at the bottom, more than twice per unit, it's a stupid line because it doesn't need to be said. Because only two dudes can replace their guns. <clears throat> okay. Only two dudes can replace their gun. But if it was going to be one, that line would say once. <laughs> Case closed. Well, read it the same way. In Spain, a guy can have a special weapon. In the English-speaking world, two guys share a grenade launcher. Cadia can make more guns. They share now. It's law. Except Thanks to Brexit. Thanks to Brexit, we have to share our guns. Okay. In the EU, everyone gets one. But no longer for us, because we voted to leave. <laughs> so why is that line there at all? Andy, I've got no idea. <laughs> That's why people believe it's a misprint. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's really not. If you want to think, oh, because they put this line in that says you can't take more than two, it probably should say more than one. That's dumb. If it gets changed, fine. But that's a really big fucking boo-boo from GW. It may have been more... Being four shock troops could have replaced weapons, but GW left in the more than twice rule. That sounds more believable, to be honest. That sounds more believable, Gen Quarters. It's like more likely that the, the shock troopers could take more than uh, two weapons, but they forgot to remove that rule. I forgot to remove them more than twice. So you can't like have like four plasma guns in the same squad. I remember that from school. School <laughs> from school two is definitely more than one. That's true. That is true. Also, this relay has one of each weapon. NC implies it meant to say one. No, does it though? Why if <laughs> Because they said you could take two, that implies you could take one. Or maybe they implied by saying up to two shot troopers could take one of the following. They actually meant up to nine shot troopers. Because two is very similar to nine. It's a line that means a number. <laughs> so I'm going to give all of my shot troopers plasma guns. Okay? All ten of them. <laughs> because it, you never know. They could have meant nine dudes can take a plasma gun. But actually, not just the plasma gun. You can only take two plasma guns. You can only take... You can take eight melter guns, though. <laughs> it's just dumb logic. I think I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's more likely that that is left in by mistake. 
rather than that they said should have said once. KD being blown up. Is that an analogy for the UK leaving the EU? It is, yeah. Chaos Terminator Sprue only has one chain axe, but the squad comes equipped with them as standard. Do not trust the Sprue. I agree, I agree, mate. I agree. You're right. Either way, the proof readers need to kick in the ass. I agree, Des. I agree. Clearly, Shadow Sonic ignored in once. <laughs> Clearly, misprint. Yeah, that's true. Every rule in this book, it really could be a misprint. Can't wait to run my 10 man to go with 20 plasma because Mikey said I can't. Yeah, by all means, mate. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, shall I actually talk about the rules now? Um, so, yeah, so the Ashabil Tarim, the main change in this. I hate this song. I'm going to remove it. Let's put some chill music on. Now we've done that. The main change, the main change from this book from the previous one is how regiments are done, um, because like obviously every every codex these days has chapter tactics or something similar, regimental doctrines, uh, dynasties, craft worlds, etc. All special rules for being like a painted a certain color or whatever. Um, Guard have done away with that, and they pretty much only have custom chapters, which is actually really interesting. Um, and obviously, they have custom regimental doctrines that you choose at the start of the game. Or you could take the basic one, which is Born Soldiers. So you get the Born Soldiers keyword. Uh, you get officers with this doctrine of the following aura. And basically, they can use their leadership instead of their own. And then each time you make a ranged attack, an unmodified hit roll of six automatically wounds that target, which has also been taken from uh, the balanced data slate, one of the ideas or the buffs that they gave them. Um... They give them hit sickness to hit automatically wound, which is obviously what Votan have and they can get access to, but it's not as good. But six sixes to hit auto wound is pretty good for guard, and it's what's basically kept guard uh, being quite good in the meta is having them be able to automatically wound on six to hit, especially when you're playing KD in any way or another other factions where you can like reroll once hit with take aim or full rerolls. But now uh, they get this, but it also says that if you roll a six to hit, it automatically counts a six to wound, exactly like Votan, which is why I think they were probably playtested quite closely together because it's a very similar rule. Um, now there's loads of other rules we could we can go over, but I'm just gonna just like talk about some highlights. Um, obviously, I don't want to be talking about the entirety of the codex because you probably already have it now, but just some of the things that really stand out to me, um, such as like warlord traits, relics, etc. Um, for example, the the way the guard book is written now is that you can just take any units you like. There's no regimental uh, restrictions anymore, uh, which is re really, really cool. But it also means guard, guard players have access to bloody everything they, they need all at the same time. Um, and I think the Cadian stuff is pushed a lot more than other stuff. Steve. Oh, come on now, Steve. Steven, come on now. Thank you so much for the 10 memberships. Oh, my Lord. Mate, thank you so much. Holy shit. 30 memberships gifted by Steve to that tonight. Thank you so much, Steve. Really, really appreciate it, mate. Honestly, that just... It's just like... It is just like thing, little things like that. I mean, obviously, like 10 memberships is quite a lot. So thank you so very much, Steve. Really appreciate it. But memberships are just what keep me going. So thank you so much. I do really appreciate it, mate. Honestly, the more people that become members, the more likely I can do this. Uh, I can create even more content. The more likely I can bring someone else to create even more content. Because that's always been the plan, right? I'm only one person. I do everything by myself. I need an editor. That's what I need. I need someone to help me out making content. And people becoming memberships and gifting members and super chatting does make a difference. Um, if you don't, if you don't like my content, I understand. But if you do, do consider it. If you haven't had been gifted a membership, or even if you have, consider gifting one yourself and pass on the love. You know. Um, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much, mate. I really appreciate it. You're very, very kind, buddy. Remember. Steve does a lot for the channel, and I want to make sure he uh, he knows it. So thank you so much, mate. Very, very kind of you. Now I've got all of these, all of these sure. alerts. <laughs> right, what a stall chat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> is there any great ones left? There is some. There is some. We joined. Let's say if you haven't become a member, do consider it one one pound ninety nine. Try it out. Come join the Discord. It's a lot of fun. If you don't want to, that's fine. But you know, 
if this content ever goes away, that's probably why. <laughs> Thank you so much, Steve. Very, very kind of you, mate. Just spending the mic, you love. No, you're a legend, buddy. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so what was I saying? So the fact that the the guard codex is so wide open, there's access to so much stuff, you can kind of throw it all together. And um, the Cadian stuff, the Cadian specific units. Now, Cadian keyword doesn't do much barring uh, limits what buffs you can put on stuff, such as stratagems or character traits or character buffs. Uh, but all of the Cadian stuff is just far superior to anything else in the book, which is kind of silly. Um, for example, uh, the Cadian shot troops is just five points more than normal infantry squads. Um, if, a hit, if they make a, a six to hit, it counts an additional hit. Um, you know. Uh, uh good believe it. Thank you much for the 25 months in a row as well. You and DN stuff rocking that longest membership. Thank you so much, mate. Obligatory comment that made you look. Thank you, mate. <clears throat> Did it cost to say? I thought uh Canadian shot troops were five points more. I would pay five points more for Canadian shot troops. No, no, they don't. That's funny. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, so, for example, the reason the KD and stuff you can see is so so pushed is because infantry squads, which can take heavy weapon teams, granted, uh, and they have access to a lot more upgrades, which are all included in the cost, because infantry squads have no cost. Uh, in terms of upgrades, they are 65 points for 10 dudes. Uh, you have access to giving out uh, one special weapon. You can give out a Vox caster. You can get power swords you can get plasma pistols you can get a heavy weapon team and obviously you can change the heavy weapon team uh weapon in there as well for 65 points for 65 points as well you can have a shock troop unit that can take two special weapons rather than one can still take a vox caster you can't give them a power sword but you can give the sergeant a, a drum fed auto gun which i know a lot of people will be talking about which i think is a really good weapon um, and also six to hit is an additional hit now if you tie that in with born soldiers for your regimental doctrine obviously that is an option that you can take a six to hit not only generates an extra hit it also automatically wounds at the same time so you essentially roll 10 shots you roll all hits with two sixes you've got two automatically wound and then they generate an extra hit back in so you roll them back into the wound pile Plasma pistol power swords cost five point, points each. I don't think they do for infantry squads because I've literally just looked. So infantry squad. Oh yeah, they do. Fuck. Infantry squads are five points. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm just wrong. Um, but the the fact is that like, what would you rather have, an infantry squad with a heavy weapon, or would you prefer a Canadian shock troop, which has that ability? I know which one I'd rather. You know, I know which one I'd rather. And it is kind of silly just how how much more brutal that can be when you tie that in. Um, when you tie that in with re regimental doctrine, born soldiers. But that's not the only one you have to take. It's just when you look at this guard card, it's that one really stands out to you. Because obviously it's the first one on the detachment rule abilities page. But it does really stand out to you. Now you, you do get all of these regimental doctrines. You can choose up to two. There's only one that says you can't. And that's trophy hunters. Which is plus one strength uh, for ranged attacks um or any attack sorry against monsters and vehicle that's one kind of like all consuming but otherwise you can choose two so it makes Cadian shot troops look really interesting probably makes people want to buy the new stuff rather than using the old stuff infantry squads are still decent and i still i do think they still have a place especially when i take some heavy weapons in there which are really nice they can be like backline stuff but Cadian shot troops arguably just a little bit better you know um but the, you can also take Death Corps of Krieg, you can take Katachan Jungle Fighters, all mixed together, as we've already mentioned. But the main the main unit is the new ones, the big bad boys, it's the Kasakin. So, Kasakin are 100 points for 10 dudes, right? And I, they don't have any other paid upgrades, except for Plasma Pistol and Power Sword. Uh, so, the Kasakin, they're just Guardsmen, but they have better LAS guns. Rapid Fire 1, Strength 3, minus 2, 1 damage. Now, they can take a Melter Mine uh, for a keyword for a stratagem. They can take a Vox Caster, which is really good for giving out orders and stuff like that. And obviously, orders have all changed, and orders are really, really good as well. Not only did orders... Orders are a little bit harder to give out because you can only choose one unit within six rather than everyone within six of you. Um, but <laughs> all the orders are really good. <laughs> 
all the orders are really really good i think or that or each there's like three sets of orders and all of those orders all sets of orders have really good ones in there uh so kasakin up to four can take <laughs> Up to four Kasakin can have their hotshot last guns replaced with one flame and one grenade launcher, one hotshot volley gun, one metal gun, and one plasma gun. And you can only take two per unit. I wonder if they copied that from KD Shot Troops. Um, you can get a marksman. It's basically like the kill tees. You can take everything. You can take the marksman rifle. You can take the last pistol and metal mine. You can take a vox caster. The sergeant can take a chainsaw or a power sword. And the sergeant bolt pistol can be a hot sword last pistol or a, or a plasma pistol. And uh, except for the passive pistol and the power sword, all of those upgrades are free. So you may as well just kick them out as much as possible, barring the sergeant. Fuck him off. He's fine. Um, but when you add this unit to your army, you can select a doctrine that your army doesn't have already because there's multiple ways to give someone else a doctrine that they don't have, such as a tank case. So it, let's say you're playing Born Soldiers, which is, as I mentioned, um, six is to hit automatically wound and count as a six. And you can do you have the, the leadership buff, you can also just go through and choose something, such as Trophy Hunters, to make your Kasakin plus one strength against monsters and vehicles. So the strength four. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good for 100 points. You've got four up, save, one wound. But they're just, they're just dudes, you know? You've got to get them there, right? Okay. Well, how about we, we just take a relic, guys? Let's take a relic. And we'll call the relic something silly something a little bit silly like the barbican's key the barbican's key is an infantry model once a battle in your movement phase you can use this relic if you do so remove the bear's unit from the battlefield um and set it up again oh my apologies i've just re realized i just read that wrong is it remove the bear's unit oh the bear's unit oh interesting you can't actually i thought that was a i misread that my apologies ignore that It's all about take aim. The fact that take aim is is a thing as well is really really good. Ignore that a little bit. I thought I thought it was just um like the dark matter crystal, but I've completely misread it. So take aim. If you want to use a regimental order, is until the end of your next shooting phase. Each time your you know, unit makes a range attack, add one to their attack's hit roll. So the Kasakin will be hitting on twos. Cool. And add one uh, to the armor penetration. So there'll be minus. Three AP. Mikey, you can. Uh, you can take the relic on a sergeant. I thought I thought that was the case. My apologies. So now what you can do is you can order that unit before they go off and do anything they like. Thank you, chat. Um, we've only got to do the like. There'll be AP three. That'd be really good, right? Okay, why don't we just load them full of fucking stratagems as well? <laughs> So, stratagems-wise, okay, let's do this. Come on, we're nearly there. We're nearly there, chat. Bear with me. Stratagems-wise, why don't we use... I don't know. Um, Ingrained precision. Use your strategy on suit phase for 1cp when a born soldier's unit, which your Kasakin are, um, is let to shoot until the end of the phase. Each time makes a range attack, unmodified hit roll of a 5. Automatically wounds the target. If an attack automatically wounds attack as a result of this, the person any rules are triggered on a particular wound roll. That attack is considered to have been made as an unmodified wound roll of a six. Look at that, that's really good. So now fives to hit, automatically wound, counters a six, a AP three. Ah, oh, that's so good. That's so good. And then the plus one strength against vehicles and monsters. Well, why don't we order them with Ursula Creed? Oh, because Ursula Creed has Lord Castell's Fury. Each time this model issues an order to unit until the start of its command phase, each time in that unit makes a ranged attack, add one to the strength characteristic of that attack. Oh, wow. Okay, so now, now the strength six, minus three. Fives to hit, automatically wound. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Why don't we just just spend another two command points and use overlapping fields of fire chat? So three CP to one order. So now they're hitting on twos. <laughs> six is a hit auto wound. Five is a hit auto wound. They're a the strength of six against a vehicle or monster. They're AP three. Why don't we give them overlapping fields of fire, which get, lets them allow them allows them to reroll wounds of one and an unmodified wound roll of a six is an additional AP. They're now on a five to hit. 
their AP4 at strength 6. Strength doesn't matter, but AP4 is pretty good uh, on a 5 to hit, uh, which is obviously really, really good. It is really, really good. Um, oh, why do you just use experienced eye instead? So you can choose a Kasakin unit, and each time a model makes an attack, improve the armor penetration by 1. So, wait for it. Wait for it. We've, we're spending 4 CP at this point, but you know. 5's to hit. We, we're hitting on 2's. We've got an additional AP. We're rerolling wounds of 1. And 5's to hit trigger our additional AP. So on a 5 to hit, we're AP 4. No. AP 5. Wait for it. 1, 2, 3. Yeah. AP 5. Sorry. Let me say that again. AP 5. Why don't we just use one more strategy? <laughs> Overcharged lad cells. Using your shoot phase when a Kasakin unit is selected to shoot. Until the end of the phase, each time one of them unit makes an attack with a hotshot weapon, which is every fucking one of them. <laughs> an unmodified wound roll of a six inflicts one more wound in addition, which triggers on fives to hit. Oh, it's a shame they're only hitting on twos, right? It's a shame they're only hitting on twos. Why don't we take the stupid fucking horseman as well and 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 give out um reroll ones to hit, reroll ones to wound while he's near them, or I can just choose them, they can re-roll the hit and wound <laughs> So we take the horseman, we spend five CP and a hundred point unit almost kills any unit in the game because they hit of two Z rolling, lucky for fives. We did <laughs> lucky for sixes re rolling. <laughs> now I know that's a lot. That's a lot. That's obviously two characters. That's um uh like what was it? One, three, uh, four, five CP spent on one unit. However, there's a lot of this in the codex. But you have access to all of those when you need them. You don't have to spend the rerolling wounds of one and a modified wound roll of a six improves the AP by one because you're already like AP four, so it doesn't matter. Um, you don't need to be AP five. Why would you? That's just too much because you can also give out. I'm pretty sure you can ignore cover as well uh, with a unit. Let's have a look. <clears throat> I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. But as Chaz mentioned as well, if you want to spend a CP, you can use Battlefield Bequest or Bequest. Use this before the battle when you're mushing your army. Select one astronomical time model from your army that has a sergeant or watchmaster in their profile. And they can take the Barbicant's key. So you can teleport that Kazakin unit after buffing it up in the command phase. Teleport it nine inches away and shoot the shit out of everything that you need to. And just really hit a unit and just went... That's 100 points I've just lost because I've lost them now. But I killed an Imperial Knight, which is like 400 points. I killed an Armager, which is like 200 points. I killed a Rogal Dawn in response. Because you can also order them, rather than being Rapid Fire 2, you can be Heavy 3. Now you'll be minus 1 to hit, but you're already hitting on 3s, re-rolling everything. You know? Um, so first rank fire, second rank fire, change the type of all last guns or hot shot last guns to heavy three. So now you don't need to be in rapid fire range to get extra shots. You're just getting three shots each. So that's 30 shots. Yes, minus five AP, cast a kid murder unit. It is kind of dumb. It is kind of dumb. <laughs> so that's just one unit. Um... The the fact that you can also take um what what we were going to talk about Attilan Rough Riders were as well weren't we another one hundred point unit um without any of the buffs are really scary Attilan Rough Riders move twelve toughness four two wounds four up save that's probably one thing that lets them down they ignore movement penalties when they're going over craters or charges etc uh, which is really good that means this unit is going to be super fast on the turn they charge their strength eight minus four three damage with you know, 10 attacks, hitting on threes. <clears throat> it's it's pretty 
pretty good you know and that's 20 points a model they get two attacks or three on the sergeant you can take another uh, you know you can take more than you, you can take up to 10 and uh, they're going to be really good for hitting stuff when they really need to but they're so fast as well um which is nice and they're like a really good combat threat and i don't think it's wrong for guard to have a little bit of a combat threat and i don't think they're that hard to deal with because you can screen them out they don't fly which is obviously crucial but they are scary and they are very fast um but the fact is that you can take them and then stack all of the other buffs on there you know all the but other buffs on there is really really brutal uh for example, you can also take the Warlord Trait Master Tactician, which allows you to redeploy three units at the start of this game before you, after you know who's going first. So you can put all your Rough Riders on the front line and your opponent is going to have to counter deploy and go, all right, well, I'm going to stay out of range of the Rough Riders if they go first. They're going to really hit me hard. I've got to make sure I've got everything valuable really far back. And then they lose the first turn roll off and pull them all off the front line and put them up behind somewhere somewhere um, more defensive, out of sight, or in a good counter charge range if you want to deploy forwards. And then you're just like, well, I've just I've got nothing now. I, I don't know how to respond to that because it just redeployed. Very, very, very strong. But also, if you did, for example, play a space marine list, you're gonna be very upset. Um, I'm gonna be very upset. Because they have their such a bonkers stratagem, bonkers good stratagem. I don't know how it got through. Um, obviously, you can take command squads and you can attach uh, models to the command squads, such as Officer of the Fleet. Officer of the Fleet is 25 points uh, with attacks of a command squad, which aren't that bad. How many points is a command squad? Um... A Cadian Command Squad is 75 points. A normal Platoon Command Squad is also 75 points. So 75 points. So 100 points for a HQ unit with an officer of the fleet. They have a 2CP strat. You might have heard of it. It is by far the most hated strat I've ever had. I hate it. I think it is awful. Orbital and, and, and this is quite biased, I will say, before I read it out. Orbital Interference, use this strategy at the start of the reinforcement step for your opponent's movement phase if an officer of the fleet model from your army is on the battlefield. If it's the first or second battle round, you can select one of your opponent's strategic reserves or reinforcements units. That unit cannot arrive on the battlefield this phase for any reason, even if it has, a, even if it has another rule that states it always arrives on the battlefield during a specific battle round, e.g. drop pod assault. You can only use this strategy once. So, <laughs> Riverside, thank you very much for the six months, mate. Really appreciate it. Absolute legend. But <laughs> they can turn off a drop pod until turn two for two CP. Now, it's expensive, but that is very brutal, especially as an Iron Hands player who the best turn to come down is turn one. <laughs> They've nerfed Iron Hands. They've nerfed my iron hands. They've done it. I hate them for it. I hate them so much. They've gone, you know, iron hands are only good on turn one. You can't come in turn one. And then what they do then is they teleport a hundred point unit and blow up half your army. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> So anyway, that's fucking awful. But then if you want to do that, you'll then take the Command Squad Regimental Standard Relic. It's Command Squad Regimental Standard Relic. It's called the Finial of Nemrodesh the First, whatever that means. Uh, while a friendly Asher Militarum core unit is within six inches of this model's unit, and obviously it's a unit of six now, so it can spread out a little bit, each time model in that unit makes a ranged attack, you can ignore any or all modifiers to the attack's hit roll, and if that attack... Uh, is allocated to an enemy model. That enemy model cannot use any rules to ignore wounds it loses. So no minus one damage. No, um, no feel no pain. No um, uh, minimum phase wounds such as a badden. Who can only take so many wounds a phase. Ignores that as well. It's silly. You'd always take one of them. You would always take one. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? And that's the thing. I think that's probably what the what Games Workshop might have missed the mark. Uh, by, by basically going, oh, all guard work together. All guard work together now. 
I love the idea of it, right? Guard together strong, okay? <clears throat> minus one damage to somewhere, but you're not feeling the pain and wound caps. My apologies, yeah. So minus one reduces the damage by one. Interesting. Okay. But everything else, no feeling of pain, no wound cap. Okay? None of that shit. Uh, I think the problem is, is that before, in every other codex, with multiple chapters, you have a chapter trait, which is a rule, such as Born Soldiers, but then you have a specific wall of trait and a specific relic and a specific stratagem. Okay? And what tends to happen is people kind of go, okay, I'm going to go for this chapter tactic, but it's got a shit relic, or I'm going to go for this chapter tactic. It's not as good as this one, but the Warlord trait is really, really good. Really, really, really good. And I need that for my list. But that chapter tactic is way better. What they've decided to do with this piece of shit, right, is go, actually, no, uh, everything, everyone can take everything. So they have access to all of the best regimental doctrines whilst also taking all of the best Warlord traits and all of the best relics. There are no limitations. That's the problem with this book, and I think that's why it's really scary and really, really good. It's that the fact that d you don't have a downside to choosing a particular relic because you just take, you are able to take another chapter tactic that you actually want. You don't have to go, oh, I want this crappy chapter tactic, but then. Shit, I've run out of recording. But then you can't. <laughs> I want this really good relic, but I've got a really crap chapter tactic. Oh, I've got a really crap chapter tactic. Oh, a really good chapter tactic, but the wall of traits is rubbish in this one. That's fine. And that's why this book is so good. You have... There are no limitations anymore. It's one of the best things about it, because now you can take Cadians and Krieg and Catachans all together and be really thematic. But comparatively, as soon as you start breaking it down and be like, oh, I could actually just take anything I want with no restriction... Why? <laughs> Why? Why can you take everything? I love the concept of it, but once again, Games Workshop come up with the concept and don't think about the repercussions of it. <laughs> Great example of something I hadn't thought of. Like in the Leviathan Relic, I have no idea what it even does. Exactly. Like Leviathan, Leviathan is really, well, well, is slash was a really, really good high fleet to run. And it's one that everyone was running. I can't remember what the Warlord trait was. I can't remember what the Relic is. But I know people weren't using both. Okay. They definitely weren't using the Relic, that's for sure. As James, as he's been playing series for a while. Uh, does, just, why would you? You don't need it, it's shite. You'll take one of the, you'll take Reaper of Omnitrax, right? That's what you'd always take. But if there was a really good one in another high fleet, you'd be like, oh, do I want to take that relic or do I want to take Leviathan, right? This book doesn't have that. It's like, oh, you want to take high fleet Leviathan? Well, take another relic from another high fleet as well, because fuck it, who cares? And that's why it's really good. And that's why it's super strong. Uh, this is what happens when you win events, you do start gunning for you. It's true. It's true. Uh, Lictors and Death Leapers are hidden on the field by a dude in the space who can stop them coming from the field. Yeah, exactly. Um, if Guard go first, they order all their troops squads to put out a big, nice, nice, big 12-inch deep strike deny bubble. Screw you, drop pods. I mean, yeah, but that 12-inch is fine. But what they could do is... 2 CP, you can't bring your drop pod in turn 1. And then turn 2, they, they, they knock you over 12 away as well. So you make the last guns heavy 3 and pound up the board with them and miss the penalty. Exactly, Barton. You make all your last guns with the order. First rank fire, second rank fire. All your last guns are heavy 3 rather than rapid fire 1. You walk up the board near your banner and you ignore the penalty for moving. <laughs> um... So against guard, we need snipers. Yeah, to kill, to deal with guards, you need to get rid of all of the people who can give out orders. Okay? Get rid of everyone who has orders. Which is like every single model in the book, bar in the infantry. <laughs> because there's a tank case. There's a tank case that you can uh, pay, and I think it's like 20 points. Let's have a look. Uh, 
Vaunted Praetorian, Super Heavy, or Rogal Don Battle Tank. This model gains the Officer keyword and knows mechanized orders. And it can issue an order to a Super Heavy model. Um, if it's a Super Heavy model, you can issue it to another Titanic unit. So you can issue orders from a Rogal Dawn. Then you've got Ursa the Creed, who can give out two orders. You take the Castellan. Uh, who can issue two? You can give him a warlord trait to issue or a relic to issue three. Uh, you've got the horseman, who can the big the big Lord Solar Leontus, who can issue three, and he also knows all of the orders. Okay, he knows regimental prefectures and mechanized at the same time, and he can issue them to everybody. Um, then you've got the commissars, who have orders such as um, fall out and shoot, do an action and still shoot. Fallout, shoot all charge, uh, give out objectives secured, give out feel no pain, uh, and then obviously remain vigilant. Battlefield re battlefield reinforcements can't be set up within 12 of this unit, so you just go, all these, fine. And then if they do charge, they're overwatch on fives. This book is really silly, and the reason for it is there are no ways uh, there are no limitations in list building you just take everything you want and all of it's really good you know imagine right like the the the, the banner finial of nemrodesh first regimental standard only the bearer gains the following ability you ignore the hit roll modifiers and the wound phase caps etc but you had to take you had to take like i don't know Heirloom weapons. Add forage range to all weapons, excluding relics. And that was the only doctrine they had, right? Or, or I could take the teleport relic and I get born soldiers, you know? That, that's the that's the that's the problem and i know i know i've already said it but that is the problem is that, that like i can take the best regimental doctrine the best wall of trait the best relic and then just say all the best units there's no limitation to it imagine right imagine if i was playing iron hands okay i, I was playing iron hands um and i was taking the heavy doctrine uh the you know ignore like what I play now, I enhance turn one, they come down, ignore the penalty with heavy weapons, and the real ones to hit. I take that, but I also take Sanguinary Guard, and everyone has plus one to wound on the charge. You know, I've got the character Dreadnought, but I've also got Death Company and Sanguinary Guard all together. You know? Like, That'd be that'd be a really good list. I've got Vanguard veterans in my list right now, and they're all right. But you know what's better? Death Company and Sanguinary Guard. And if I could take them all together and get, take a Space Marine army, take all the best relics from one chapter, take the best chapter tactic, and then take the best units from another one, such as Sanguinary Guard, that'd be fine, right? That'd be a really good list, funnily enough. <laughs> Uh, the fact that hy hydras are now as effective at shooting infantry as aircraft is a perfect example. It's literally an AA cannon. Yeah, the hydra is so silly. So if you don't know, the hydra is the anti-air cannon with the auto cannons, the anti-air platform. Sorry, with the auto cannons, and it is great. It is heavy eight, strength seven, minus two two damage, hits on fours. Uh, turret weapon, which means you can shoot out of combat, um, which is fine. Each time an attack is made against an aircraft, add one to hit. You also double the number of shots. You get 16 shots rather than eight. <laughs> this is the perfect anti-air gun against stuff like Tau Sunshine Bombers, which is stuff to six, the four up safe. Yeah, six up, two damage. Also, I've got 16 shots hitting on fours. <laughs> it's just silly. It's just silly. That's just, that's just like a really dumb unit. But, like, it's just everything else. And, again, like, a lot of people are th saying, like, oh, guard are fine. But you just, if you think guard are fine, you just haven't read the book properly. You haven't read the book deep enough, I don't think. And none of the heroes are make regiment lots. Exactly, because there is no regiments. I love that it, there's, a custom, there's a custom regiment build there. But it's the fact that you can just take anything together. That is really, really silly. As you, as you say, like... You know, Sergeant Harker, who's a HQ. 
you know. Where is he? Uh, Sergeant Harker. He gives out reroll hit rolls of one. Uh, well, Suze, Katajan, Jungle Fighter Unit gives out reroll hits rolls of one for the rest of the battle. Um, and he has he gets the doctrine just like everyone else. He can have born heroes, for example. He doesn't get anything for a bit like charging or anything like that. Now there are some doctrines that you can take which are good for combat, which would be good for um, you know Katajan Jungle Fighters, but you don't have to take them. You just take them in there. Plus, it's a turret, so it gets another plus one to hit. Yeah, exactly. That's true. So, it's a turret weapon. So, the the Hydra is going to be hitting on threes against the Flyer. Because it's plus two to hit. So, it goes to two plus. You're minus one, so back to three. That's that's only minus, that's only plus one on the die. So, it'll be hitting on threes. Probably re-rolling once. <laughs> um... Even Votan, if you want Uthar, who is super good, you need to play Great Theory in League, not the best, so it's a trade-off. Exactly. And exactly, that's one great example. A special character in Votan, who's really good, is in a league that is okay. You'd rather play um, Emir Conglomerate, or whatever it's called, that gets a better in Von. Um, the, the really good one. But if you want Uthar, you have to drop that and take a slightly worse league. Whereas this, you don't have that. Um, talk about the Death Strike. The Hydra gets plus two to the air aircraft. Yeah, exactly. So it's hitting on threes. Uh, would it be there? What if you don't want or like Sangri Guard models? People that play Guard build an army that is all one regiment. Yeah, but obviously I'm looking at this eye from someone who plays competitive tournaments and talks about competitive things every week you know um i'm looking at this from a competitive eye if you want to build a guard army that is just all catch and jungle fighters and build four catch and jungle fighters it'll be fine but we're not talking about that we're talking about stacking every stratagem ever onto one unit and killing any unit in the game for 100 points you know double minus one to hit will hurt guard Tank commander hitting on fives, e.g. smoke launches and dense. Uh, but as Gumbly says, and I agree, the fact that the minus one to hit will be really annoying for guard, but the guard just gets so many shots now. Like the the, the basic battle cannon gets d6 plus three shots, a minimum of of um, of four shots every time it shoots. Right. If you want to give it the battle Karen, the gatekeeper, another really good relic, minimum seven shots. <laughs> Strength 9, minus 3, 3 damage. Hitting on 3s, you know, obviously you can give it other pluses to hit. You can give it re-rolls to hit. Um, there's loads of tank orders you can get on there to buff it as well. There's tank aces you can buff it with. Minimum 7 shots. <laughs> kind of silly. Talk about the Death Strike. The Death Strike is a fucking weird unit. It's very good, but also very bad. So the Death Strike, obviously the big cannon boy, the big one cannon. Um, you can do an action. It doesn't actually shoot. It's rocket. It does an action with it. So if it's not within engagement range, any units, it's Death Strike target marker is on the battlefield. Um, basically, you do an action. You drop a marker. The next turn, you can do something. You know. You know. You can either have a Godspear Warhead, a Plasma Barrage Warhead, or a Vortex Warhead. Godspear Warhead, roll a di dice for each unit within 3 inches of the center of this marker. On a 2 to 3, it suffers 8 mortal wounds. On a 4 to 5, it suffers 12. On a 6, it suffers 16. Fucking stupid. But the thing is with this, is the Death Strike's really good. It's, I don't think against a good player, or not like a, someone who knows what they're doing, you'll never be able to use it. That would be the plan. Because what it does, it sets up a marker, and then the opponent has a whole turn to like react to that marker, you know. So if you go, oh, I'm going to use Godspear. All right, I'll just stay out more than three, and it does nothing. Now, obviously, you can use Plasma Barrage, which is D3 plus six, so you have up to nine inch blast, and then the Vortex Warhead, uh, which is D3 plus three from the center, and it generally just gets worse, right? It just gets worse the further the further away you are. 
But what it's very good, it's controlling the battlefield. You drop that in the middle of an objective, uh, you, your opponent is not going to want to stand on the objective because they might get hit. Um, but the Death Strike really, is a really niche case. I don't think it's like a super great unit, but it's really interesting, you know. I don't think I don't think people will be running the Death Strike. I just think it's one of those things that when people do bring one, if people could be caught out by it. You know, if you've got a bit of a castle, you're going to have to move that castle. If you can't get out, you're going to be in real big danger. You know, if you forget to move, real big danger. And you only pick the type of missile once you pick the army. Oh dear, I thought you just picked it when it's shot. When it actually goes to launch. Run three for board control. That is quite a bit of board control. Ah, so you pick it at the start of the game. Okay, interesting. So you choose which one you want at the start of the game. So that's even worse than I thought. <coughs> Three would be annoying, but it is like 300 points. <coughs> Talking of choice nonsense, in turn is they made it so you couldn't take the paid for points upgraded on characters. Maybe so you can't build a battleship kind thing. Yeah, exactly. Just dumb. When your basic 65 point unit can pump out 30 shots at range 30 inch and a sixth of those shots will cause saves regardless of any defensive modifiers without considering rerolls is kind of silly. So guard gets to ignore damage caps because of a fancy flag. Exactly. Exactly. So, so yeah, so that's, that's my reasoning to think why guard are really dumb. And I think people are going to pick up this code, especially good players, better players than me. But, um, but they'll pick up this codex and they'll go, right, okay, I'm going to take this relic, this relic, this relic, this wall of trait, this wall of trait, this wall of trait. I'm going to take these three units and then I'm going to take my tax troops. Also, my tax troops are really fucking good because I've all got two plasma guns. You know? Uh, so what I will say, it's just it's just kind of dumb. It's just kind of dumb that there's no limitations. That the the best thing about this codex is its greatest downfall as an opponent. Because as soon as you see that they've got all the best relics, all the best wall of trace, and all the best units, uh, with no no restriction to that, it's going to be very oppressive. And anyone says this codex is fine hasn't read it or is lying to you. Okay, if you're a guard player and you're saying this codex is fine. You're a very, very naughty boy. <laughs> if you're an influencer who say this guard codex is fine, you're full of shit, okay? <laughs> and finally, on that note, Games Workshop, I am your top content creator. Just make me a playtester. I won't leak your book, and I'll make sure this doesn't happen again, okay? That's how I'll finish this stream, okay? Stop writing dumb codexes. Let me play test them for you. Let me rule. Let me review them for you. You know. Let me think. Let me get this book early. I'll go through it and I'll be like, "Whoa, a unit of a hundred point Kassikin could kill anything in the game." Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, not. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should. Maybe 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 we shouldn't be doing that, bro. Bro, maybe not. Okay, and that's all I'll do. I'll write it. I'll type a nice email. It'll say good morning from the warp. You know, good morning from battle cruiser. Battle cruiser sends message. Do not do this. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what we need. Okay, so games workshop. You've got my phone number. You know where I live. Um, but gamers, that is it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this deep dive of. Uh, the Astra Militarum Codex. Codex is fine. I battled pre nerf Votan and killed two Lantra Fortresses on turn two. <laughs> I can't wait until GDB take a look at Space Marines. Bolters will be Strength 6, AP 3, Damage 3, Rapid Fire 3, Range 72. Uh, we're winner. Winner. <laughs> let's have a look at some memes gamers let's have a look at some memes again join the discord exclamation point discord um to join in it's a really really cool community um i love them all to bits and uh it's always really fun to chat in there and um 
yeah it's all it's full of really cool people it's a really good community and they post fire memes as well so can't wait for the james workshop guard book apology they won't do it though because it's not a new army and people aren't outraged about it let's have a look at this meme let me refresh it oh hey oh hey yeah brown hair red beard oh, yeah brown hair red beard brown hair red beard that's me that's me chat i'm brown hair red beard yeah, red, red beard, red beard, brown hair, brown hair, ah, yeah, yeah, brown red hair, beard, brown hair, red beard. Oh, <laughs> hey, so do you get people that think you'd dye your one hair, and but not, not the beard? other? Like, why would you do that? That's like, that's true. Do you get people that think you dye your beard, beard, but not your hair? Yeah. And like, that's I always so say the same thing to them. It's like, why would I dye one? Why would I? Why would I dye my beard red? Right? Why would I when I've got these luscious, luscious color? Oh, one and not seriously. The other. If you're just going to die one, like, why not on, die why both? Why wouldn't I just die in both if I was dying <laughs> yeah. it? Isn't that yeah, funny? Those people, those people are, are so idiots. stupid. I Very agree stupid. That those people are fucking, fucking stupid, <laughs> aren't they? They're fucking <laughs> Or idiots. why would you dye your hair red even to begin like, with? Why would, why you would do that? anyone You'd hate want that. this? <laughs> those people, those are people that think that stupid. are fucking stupid. Those people are so many of them. fucking stupid. <laughs> oh that was really good i really like that was that big bergosaurus that was really good let me send that to george <laughs> that was really really good <laughs> thank you bergosaurus for the excellent meme mate okay spice two become one regimental standards look at the quality magoo I would like some more pixels in the next meme, please. <laughs> I'd like some more pixels. Imperial Guard plays on Facebook. Rest of the 40k fan base. Get ready, everybody. He's about to do this. <laughs> I want to take two plasma guns, please. <laughs> he does actually exactly what I do, but better. Yeah, this is true. This is true. If you don't dye either your beard or hair, then ambles aren't meta. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> a Kasekin unit after spending four CP. A Kasekin unit. Yes! Jojo meme! Excellent Jojo meme. Let's go. This is the best meme. This is the best meme we've seen ever. It's a Jojo guard meme. Get it, guys? Do you get it? It's a Jojo imperial guard meme. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to tweet the shit out of this. Thank you, Magoo. Guard plays with 10,000 point collection versus people by votes and thinking they'll dominate events. <laughs> yes, we have um, a mere respite of two months until Guard actually start playing. Space Marines noticing the Katakin dropping in and then not being able to drop in themselves. <laughs> The original image was older than you. They didn't have a lot of pixels then. Wrong! It's not older than me. <laughs> I enhance. Gonna alpha strike tier one from drop pod. Officer of the fleet. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck the officer of the fleet. What is a fucking stupid stratagem. I hate it. <laughs> the current sort of balance meta. The Imperial Guard Codex. It's true. It's true. The Codex Imperial Guard 22, Codex Space Marines 2019. <laughs> it was such a glorious time. Let's make core a thing. Let's stop giving buffs out to vehicles. And they brought out this piece of shit. They brought out this piece of shit. <laughs> God damn it! Codex writes at the beginning of 9th using Chat Tactics Clan's Hive Fleets. I'm limited by the technology of my time. <laughs> God plays writing lists with nothing but custom regiments. Unlimited power. Oh, these are good. These are really good. Oh, wait. Gumbelina, after a rules ride, does a line. Actual tower in the map. <laughs> oh, boy. What a deep cut meme. Oh, mate. Oh, what an emotional time. What emotional time. <laughs> uh, for your 400 point centerpiece unit, some Kasekin. <laughs> Do 
Do you remember when they got rid of Kasukin to replace it with Scions? Yeah, they made Scions shit. Um, Imperial Guard apes right now. <laughs> um, Mikey giving his GW, giving GW his opinion on the next codex. How about no? <laughs> yeah, we're just not going to bother covering the next one. It's fun to be fucking dumb. Every time I do a codex review, I'm like, well, this is just dumber than the last one. What do you want me to say? It's like the last one, but stronger. For, for no reason whatsoever. I hate it. But what I don't hate is the lovely people who support me. So thank you everyone who's super chatted uh, or become my organ super chat. We had loads of resubs tonight. Uh, we got Riverside. We had uh, Dark Lord of the Cheese. We had DN stuff. We've had Gumbelina. Uh, we've had a bunch of other people. We've also had 30 gifted stubs from Ginger Steve, the absolute legend. And those are the people who allow me um, to keep doing what I do for free for you so if you do like the channel you do enjoy the channel or you do enjoy any of the content i put out whether that's um whether that's live streams whether that's videos pick up the member and super chatting and you know buying merch and stuff like that really supports the channel and literally keeps me going and uh, allows me to do this full time so thank you everyone who has done it or if you consider to do it it is only 199 and don't forget you can also join the discord you can talk to me whatever you like uh, if you are a member I've, I've got like channels like ask mikey which i'll be answering soon and um yeah, do consider it. And uh, that's it for today, I think. I've overrun by about 20 minutes. Bam! Thank you much for the five months, mate. Really appreciate it. Very, very, very kind of you, mate. Really appreciate it. Very cool of you. Uh, doing any coverage streams soon. So the next coverage we've got lined up is actually our own event in February. Obviously, it's Christmas, so there's not as many events coming up soon. But we'll be covering our own event in February. Uh, at the, that's the earliest one we've got so far. Or the latest one. You know, we might get one in between then. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, so thank you much for watching. I'll be live again with Louis this week, I hope, because we're going to be talking about the team event. I've just been to an Age of Sigma team event this weekend. I didn't even talk about that today, uh, which is really, really fun. And we're going to talk about that. Um, and it should be really fun. And then I'll, I'll probably be playing some Pokemon this week as well. So if you want to, if you join the Discord, you got an alert when I go live on either Twitch or YouTube and you won't miss it. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And uh, let's go and redirect to Papapardo. Um, because he's a legend and we'll we'll drop the kids off at the pool and go say hi to them. So if you are watching, go and say hi to Pardo and spam small ball gang in chat. So I'll spam it here. I'll spam it here. Copy and paste it in their chat when I end the stream, okay? And go say hi. Uh, they are look really good. They are really good people. I really, really, really love them. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks, everyone. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye, bye.